Hello and welcome back to Maths Made Easy. Today we are in fourth lecture of basic geometry. Quadrilaterals or a four side polygon. In last lecture we com we complete our triangle, polygon and lines and angle. Okay. In this section Various type of quadrilaterals including parallelogram, rhombus, rectangles, square and trapezoids are described. Okay, quadrilaterals are four side polygon. They have four sides. The sum of the angle in quadrilateral is given by the formula n minus 2 times 180 where n is the number of side or number of angle. So 4 minus 2 is 2 times 180 that is 360. So any shape having four side has the total number of interior angle is 360. The sum of angle in all quadrilaterals is 360. Now let's see parallelogram. A parallelogram is a quadrilateral with both the two opposite sides parallel to each other. Both the opposite sides are parallel to each other. Like side AB is parallel to CD and side AC is parallel to side BD. Both pairs of opposite angle are the same size. Also the opposite angles are equal. Like angle C is equal to B, D is equal to A. If diagonal lines are drawn to either of the opposite angle, the resulting triangle is co are concurrent. If you will draw a line like this, both the triangles formed after the diagonal line drawn are concurrent. Either you draw AD, triangle ACD and triangle ABD are concurrent or if you draw CB, triangle ACB, DCB are concurrent. A rhombus is a parallelogram with all four sides of equal length. A rhombus is also a parallelogram but being parallel all the sides are also equal. Opposite angle of a rhombus are equal to each other. Diagonal line drawn in rhombus are perpendicular to each other and in this case when you draw the diagonal lines they cut each other in perpendicular. They make 90 degree. A rectangle is a parallelogram with all four angle having equal measurement. Rectangle is also a parallelogram because opposite sides are parallel to each other. But along with that, it has a special characteristics that is all the angles are 90 degree. Opposite side of rectangle are also equal to each other. Diagonal line drawn in the rectangle are the same length. In this case, both the diagonals are of same length, not like parallelogram or rhombus. The length of the diagonal line can be determined using the Pythagoras theorem. Yes, since there is a 90 degree, you can use a Pythagoras theorem on any of the two sides, two adjacent sides, if the side length of the rectangle are known. Long side length square plus short side length square is equal to diagonal length. A square is a parallelogram in which the four angle and four sides are equal. Same square is also a kind of parallelogram because opposite sides are parallel. <coughs> the angle will the angle will each measure 90, 90 degree. Diagonal line drawn in a square are the same length. The length of the diagonal line can be determined by using Pythagoras theorem like last one. So I'm not going to discuss that again. Here are the formula. D square is equal to 2 times of x square. D is equal to 2 under root x square. And square and root will cancel. So D is equal to x root 2. Last one. Last one is interesting. It's trapezoid. Trapezoid is a quadrilateral having only one pair of opposite side parallel to each other but like a b and c d are parallel to each other but but other other pair of opposite lines are not parallel to each other 
AB is parallel to CD, AC is not parallel to BD. AB and CD are called base. Okay, there is a the, the parallel lines are always called base. This will help me help us when we will be writing the formula for trapezoid. Just remember, AC and BD cannot be base. Whenever we will refer base, we are going to refer the parallel lines. I hope you got value from this video. If you did, then please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. I will see you in the next one.